happening today in the Gem City, a flightless honor flight, all for veterans who are medically unable, all to travel long distances. Now, the concept was created about five years ago. It gives veterans a virtual visit of Washington, D.C. without having to get on a plane. WGM's Dylan Smith explains how the experience provides the closest feeling veterans can get to paying respects while getting the respect they deserve. Instead of getting up at 2 a.m. to make a 4 a.m. flight out of St. Louis, veterans who can't make the trip took it virtually right here at the Illinois Veterans Home. Now, it's not Washington, D.C., but it's still enough to bring some to tears. It's a trip that, unfortunately, not everyone can take. And this is downtown Washington, D.C. at 9 o'clock in the morning. In person, that is. I thought to myself, you know, if they're not going to come to us, we're going to go to them and show them what the, what the flight is all about. And today, 10 veterans got the experience of the nation's capital all in one place, experiencing an honor flight trip as if they were actually there. Everything from the bus ride to the memorials, and of course, the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I thought it was real nice. Hope I never stop doing it. Since the flight list on our flight was created nearly five years ago, its coordinator, Steve Wheeler of Land of Lincoln Honor Flight, says it served over 200 veterans in 20 trips. We've got to pay these veterans back and thank them, make sure they're thanked, and make sure they understand how much we appreciate what they've done. So that's my goal here, and, and I think we're accomplishing that with this program. The Great River Honor Flight Board Chair says that this is not the only time the tri-states will go flightless. And the fact that some people can't go do the medical or health reasons or whatever, I think this is a great way to show that they can also be a part of that program. The veterans today received a similar greeting, like the one they'd get once they got back home. Dylan Smith, WGEM News, Quincy. As for what's next, another flightless honor flight is planned later this month in Champaign. Meanwhile, Great River Honor Flight is preparing to make its second trip of the year to Washington, D.C. around the same time.